Hey everybody, Joe with Bumbling Acres. I hope y'all are doing well. It's Saturday, 28th, January 28th, and as you can tell, the weather's pretty nice. Uh, we're supposed to have, finally, winter is supposed to get here in a couple, like next week. It's supposed to drop, and then it'll be the normal winter that we all kind of know and appreciate at times. So, winter is coming and arriving. Uh, Ah, nice. Deborah's gathering eggs. So, today's post is an interesting thoughts that have been on my mind um, about homesteading and religion. Now, I um, was raised fundamentalist. I'm, I do have religious beliefs. Um, this is not about those religious beliefs, and generally my personal religious beliefs are my personal religious beliefs. I will more than willing and happy to talk about what I believe um, but I do not feel the need upon which to make everything about what I believe. Um, it is, and once again, a very personal thing to me. So this isn't per se about what I believe or about what religious beliefs a person should have. Uh, for those who are looking at getting into homesteading, one thing you should probably, um, depending upon your background, you may not be used to, um, a lot of homesteaders are deeply religious people and they're good people um, and I don't mean just Christian religious beliefs we've um, we have met Muslim homesteaders we've met um, I have not met an atheistic homesteader I'm I uh, most have some kind of Gnostic principles and I started to wonder why um, kind of thinking to myself what is it about homesteading um, that is religious um, or has religious overtones and kind of started to think that it isn't that homesteading is religious but that there are so many concepts about religion that are very homesteading uh, manifestations uh, hope faith these are words that are religious words um, they are generally when you talk about hope and you talk about faith you're generally talking about um, metaphysical things you're not talking about um, things that occur in your daily life. We don't really hope our car starts in the morning. Generally, we know whether it's going to or not. And we're surprised when it doesn't. We're disappointed when it doesn't. It's not that our hopes are shattered because we don't hope our car operates in the morning. We don't hope that there's work on Monday if we have a job. It's expected. It's, it is what it is. Um, so much of homesteading is the manifestations of hope and faith. Um, just planting planting crops in the spring uh, and tending them and that that moment when you put a seed in the ground is an is a physical act of, of, of hope and faith that come harvest you will have something to harvest you know that is uh, that is faith in that this seed that you plant that you take care of and nourish but that it will be there and when you raise your animals you know you have um, you they start when you bring them home as chicks if they're chickens and you've got to raise them through their period um, to get them to maturity and before they start providing anything to you that's hope and faith um, and that hope and faith are real words in the homesteading life like you hope <laughs> that you will have enough and you hope that your work is rewarded and you have faith that the, that your work will be rewarded um, and it's not in this metaphysical my hope is you um, you know, Jesus take the wheel kind of way. Um, it's a very pragmatic belief system um, in homesteading and this idea that you nurture and plant and grow. Um, so if you're getting into homesteading and you're not from a background that is familiar or maybe you have some super negative uh, ideologies kind of towards this idea, ideas of faith and uh, religion, there might be some periods that will be a little abrasive to you. Uh, and in many ways, in civilian life, we interact, but we see the worst of religion. We see the worst of spirituality. We see the worst of people's beliefs. But in many ways, when you kind of return to the roots of homesteading, and in the homesteading community itself, you see many things that are the best parts of, of, of religion, and many of the best parts about spirituality. And you see these parallels in your life, these actions of hope and faith, and I will always remember growing up and going to church and they talk about hope and faith and these spiritualities. They're always looking for ways to make it real. And um, where in the homesteading life, it's real every day. 
you know, you go out and our chickens, we do everything we can, but we expect them to lay, but it's still not a guarantee we're not doing it. Um, and there's so many manifestations of, of faith and hope. And when you start looking at life that way in the homesteading community and the rest of your world as well, you'll start to see these manifestations of hope and faith and not in this dogmatic, um, super religious viewpoint. And it's very liberating. Uh, to somebody who grew up fundamentalist, I have a, like I said, I have um, a faith, but it's not a... Um, probably wouldn't fit in in most churches kind of faith and kind of belief structures but that's okay you know there's nothing wrong with that and don't let your lack of you know don't believe you've got to have religious beliefs in order to be a homesteader you really don't um, but you will find man it's such manifestations and there's an innate spirituality that seems to come from homesteading you get a real connection to the earth and so many things above you um, the shadow world, the world beyond what we can see, where hope and faith manifest themselves. That's that's really what homesteading is. So those are my, my thoughts of the day. Uh, it's our Saturday update. We just put up a tether for our big old Great Pyrenees dog, so she's getting used to her new area. And we remove move some of the water systems around the property uh, to kind of get a jump on what we want to do for spring. And putting thoughts in place about how we're going to set up new water tote systems in the spring. Really looking forward to uh, our actions this coming year as this year comes to a close and so much has happened this year. Uh, Deborah and I moving on to the new property. We're really kicking off the homesteading, us getting married. You know, there's this has been a great year uh, and we're really looking forward to the next one, but it's really got to mark the year. Notice what has come through. So. I hope this message finds you well and happy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and if you believe incredibly different than me, that's completely okay, by the way. If you think I'm way off base, completely okay, by the way. Uh, I do not expect you to believe what I believe, and I don't expect you to agree with what I believe or think. So, hope you have a great and wonderful day. It's almost the end of the year. Mark your year. Mark your moments. Joe with Bumble Nakers, signing off. Bye.